So today as we continue on with our landscapes, you should have your mark making page, which you've loaded into process. You have practiced different colors out in those mark making sections. And then you can start to have your practice mapping in, um, blocking in those shapes. You can try out some of the different textures to make sure you like what you've come up with over here. When you are ready, you are going to switch over to your final paper. Now here, I know it's hard to see, but here I have um, lightly mapped in my basic shapes here. So I've got my grove of trees, I've got my really far grove of trees, I've mapped it in the clouds. The clouds, as they get closer to the horizon line, will appear to get smaller because they are uh, going further away. So remember, things get smaller as they go back into space. So now I'm ready. I've got these light pencil lines. I'm ready to start thinking about my background trees, maybe some squiggle shading, maybe some like light mark making there. So now I'm ready to kind of come into here and I can start laying in those values. Now the whole time I'm doing this, I'm still thinking about lights and darks. So I've got different trees in here and so there's going to be darker bits and lighter bits and darker bits here i can think about moving across that way so i'm always going to err on the side of lightness so if i'm doing some squiggle shading here for these trees might make the squiggles a little bit bigger here because they are uh, closer trees to me as i get into these trees over here i might make them tighter because these trees are definitely background trees. They're very far away. So I'm gonna lightly map these in first. Now, when I look at my picture, you can see there's darker bits and lighter bits, but I'm not too worried about that yet. So I'm gonna come in here, lighten those up, and then I'm gonna do my dashed lines here. I'm still looking at my photograph so I can picture there's like a little darker piece here. I might get a little texture on that. Coming across, these are all still trees. So I'm kind of mapping that in. Again, nothing too definitive yet. And then on this little land, it's a little darker here. It gets like dark down here. I'm gonna do some like stippling. There's some texture for some grasses there. Vincent Van Gogh had a lot of stippling happening in uh, his sketches, so I liked that idea. So I can keep going there. Now, I'm still working a little bit back to front, so notice that I did my background and maybe middle ground things here. Now I'm gonna do my water before I do my foreground. So you can see the water gets darker here. There's a lot of texture to the water. There's lightness from the reflection of the clouds. So in my <clears throat> sketches, I was kind of making little lines kind of like this. I might even kind of make it go around just to kind of decide. Oh, that piece of land should come in front. Coming around here, stay a little kind of swirly, but I want it to make it look like it's going behind these plants here. So again, I'm just kind of laying it out First, I want to make it look like it's going behind those plants. Okay, then I could think about pushing this a little bit more. Oh, I've got my clouds. My clouds, I was doing like little swirly bits. Still want to keep them nice and light. Then I might come and play around with the weight of that line a little bit later, if you've noticed in my picture here I really played around with that weight there so I'm gonna keep working on this but this is our first step here is blocking in those basic shapes with our pencil and then lightly finding the structure of the mark making that you want to include in here so I've still got some work to do before I'm ready to add color so we will pick back up in a little bit but this is where you're going first